In this video, we are going to be learning about Nmap. Nmap is a network mapping tool. It will allow you to discover the devices that are on your network and also you can find out which services or programs are running on that device. It is a very powerful tool and it is generally the first tool that is used in the phase of penetration testing. With that being said, a huge disclaimer before I show you how to use Nmap. Do not scan any network or devices that you do not own or do not have the authorization to scan. All the devices that will be shown in this video are my own devices. So with that being said, let's get started. First, I'll open my terminal. And by default, Nmap comes pre-installed in Kali Linux or any other pen testing distro. If you're using a distro that is not for pen testing, then you can install Nmap with the command sudo apt install Nmap, which I will not do because I already have it installed. So after installing Nmap, the first thing you need to do is check the help menu. So type the command Nmap space dash dash help and press enter. So with the help menu, we can know what are the options we can use with the Nmap. So the first thing we can see is we can do target specification like we can pass host name, IP address or networks. We can also do host discovery. Most of the times we will be using this command which will do a ping scan and it will discover the devices that are online in your network. Next, we can see the scan techniques that are used. Here, SS means the scene scan, which is also called the stealthy scan. Then we have the TCP scan. If you do not know the difference between scene and TCP, for now just understand this. This is more stealthy, so we use this more often. Then we have the UDP scan for UDP ports and we have other forms of scan techniques but 99% of the time we will be using only these three. Then we have the port specification. We can scan specified ports. We can also scan ports within a range. Then we can also scan the top ports. Then we have the service version detection. With service version detection you can understand which ports are running what service and you can find vulnerabilities associated with the version of that service. Then we have the script scan that will allow you to run scripts against the vulnerable service. Then we have the OS detection with dash O which will detect the OS. Another interesting one is the firewall and the IDS evasion and spoofing. You can save your file with the dash ON command as the output. Next, a very important one is the dash A command, which will do everything which will enable OS detection, version detection, script scanning and also trace route. So enough talking, let's see some action. Now the very first thing I will do is I will try to detect all the devices that are connected to my network. So first I'll give the IP space dash A command. I can see I'm in the subnet 192.168.1.0. So since I'm in the subnet slash 24, the IP of the devices will be 0 to 255. To check which devices are online and response to my ping, I will give the command nmap space dash s capital P space 192.168.1.0 forward slash 24. Here I'm scanning my whole network and this is a ping scan. It will show all the devices that are online and connected to my network. After the scanning is completed, I can see I have three hosts that are up. 192.168.1.1 is my default gateway. I have a device in 192.168.1.23 and I also have another device in 192.168.1.24. Now that we know the IP of the devices, let's see what these devices are and what service are they running. So I will scan this device 192.168.1.24. First, let's do a default nmap command. So I'll type the command sudo nmap 192.168.1.24 and press enter. And with the default command, you can see that I get the port number, the protocol that it is running, the state of the port open or closed and the name of the service. Not much. So now I will do a version detection scan to get additional information. So I'll type the command sudo space nmap space for version detection is dash s capital V space. This time I'll scan the port from 1 to 1000. So dash p space 1 to 1000 space dash s capital S. This is for the stealthy scan. This will make it hard for the target to detect us and then finally the IP address which is 192.168.1.24 and now press enter. And after the scanning has been completed, you can see that there is a new field called version and it is showing the version that are associated with the port and the services. And since I specified up to 1000 port, it scanned 1 to 1000 and the scan was slow because it was a stealthy scan. From this output, I can understand this is a Windows device. But if you wanted to detect OS only, you would have used the command sudo nmap space dash capital O space. This time I will define a timing template. Timing template means that how fast your scan will be. So you can define a timing template by dash capital T and you can choose from 0 to 5. So 5 is the fastest and the most aggressive one. But there is a high chance that it will be detected by the target system and 0 is the slowest one but it will avoid detection. But since the server is in my network, I will use 5. I do not care. I just want it to be fast. And then I will add the IP, which is 192.168.1.24. And after the scanning has been completed, I can see that other than the default Nmap scan, I also get the OS information here. From here, I can understand that this is a Microsoft Windows 7, and I also get additional information about the OS. And now I will be showing you the one that I use, and 90% of the time you will be using in bug bounty or CTF challenges. 
so type sudo space nmap space dash a a is a very special command it means aggressive mode this a combines three options together at the same time the version detection the os detection and the script scanning so you do not have to run those options separately you can just give a here and space this time i'll scan all the ports so dash p dash space dash capital t for the aggressiveness of the scan and i will give the aggressiveness four it is lower than five but still aggressive and then i will give the ip address which is 192.168.1.24 space i want to save the output of my scan so that's why i will give dash o capital n and the name of the text file that i want to save my output in i will call it output.txt now press enter now after the scanning has been completed i can see that because i have given the dash a command it combined the version here we are getting the version of the services that are running i get the os detection and also the result of the default script that ran against the server with this default script i get additional information about the common vulnerabilities and the configuration issues this will help me in the exploitation phase of the pen testing and i also get information of the trace route so as you can understand dash s which is extremely important in nmap other than that, I have scanned all the ports with the dash p dash command. Dash t4, you already understand. This is an aggressive scan. And with the dash o n command, the file is saved as output.txt. I'll show you. So if I go to my home folder, I can see output.txt. And if I open the file, so this is the nmap scan. And that is how you scan with nmap. This tutorial is designed for beginners. If you like this video and want to watch more content related to Kali Linux or ethical hacking, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching.